peroxide, which should fizz pretty good if we do in fact have a fossil and if there's sulfide materials, so, you know, trace amounts of metallic ore or metallic ore. Manifest Ranch is heavy in sulfides and sulfate. So, now with peroxide, uh, there can be a delayed reaction. So I'm gonna pause here for a few seconds and we'll see what we get. So now I did the back sides, already seeing some action there indicating it's a fossil, which it should be because it's petrified wood. It's one that, I don't even know if it's one I pulled or somebody else, just literally from the tree branches, just below the ground after a strong rain, which pro tip, after it rains is a great time to get your goods. We'll see what else happens here after a few seconds. Okay, getting more on this side of the petrified wood. Uh, this side, not as much. Definitely that side. Um, over here, not seeing much. Now, the other thing you can do... I thought this was petrified wood, but perhaps it's not. Because usually petrified wood will react pretty vigorously. I have washed it, but that shouldn't matter. Um, the other thing you can do is then it cuts kind of fun, especially since I already did vinegar and of course we didn't get a reaction Then hydrogen peroxide. Oh wow. Look these guys are reacting. They're definitely petrified wood um, And I don't think you're supposed to mix the two, but we'll see what happens So if you add warm water, then you can also look for reactions with hydrogen peroxide or vinegar and if you have like iron oxidization, which oftentimes is the case, um, at least in the Pueblo wet mountain area where these originate, um, sometimes you can soak them in vinegar and it will like peel off the oxidization and you'll end up with this really dark water and it actually cleans up the crystals. So let's add some warm water and see what we find.